Hi guys. It is another lovely sunset over the end times here in the Point Lonesome Swamp here in the end times. It is now a lovely Thursday evening. That would be December 9th, 2021. And I am out here enjoying a little bit of old Florida. Well, I still can. Uh, I'm enjoying a margarita for the end times. Oh, Lord, just thinking about this planet and mainly how I cannot see in any direction, in any direction, I cannot see one clueless fucking moron. I cannot see a clueless fucking moron. I do not hear a single clueless fucking moron. Now, I do hear some... Uh, I do hear some distant fossil fuel engines, but uh, other other than the distant fossil fuel engines, I am hanging out in the Point Lonesome Swamp, thinking about uh, the army of clueless morons just uh, at the end of the other end of this rutted out dirt road here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, and uh Anyway, I, uh, I was just reading this article, I think it was from the Telegraph over there in, in England. I honestly do not know whether the author of the article was being ironic or not. You know, like, there's great satire. The best satire is when you cannot tell if the author is joking or not. So what it was, it was the one of many, many articles talking about the, the probably the single most moronic uh, claim ever coming out of Elon Musk's mouth. And, of course, there's a lot of competition for moronic things coming out of Elon Musk's mouth. But his uh, claim last week that there are not enough humans on the planet, the father of six billionaire holding himself up as an example of what the entire planet needs to be doing to uh, save humanity and the planet is to have more children. So, the shtick from this article, I mean, you can go find it. I was going to read the article, but I just decided to pour a drink and come talk about it. The shtick was, you know, the guy was saying when he first heard the claim, he, he, you know, he, uh, he howled with derisive laughter. Uh, about anybody suggesting that this planet uh, needs more people instead of fewer people. But then what he started doing was he, he acted like that he started investigating what Elon Musk was saying. And after he dug a little deeper, he agreed with Elon Musk. And, and this is where I honestly do not know if the guy was being ironic or not. Uh, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt that he was joking. Uh, you, you know, looking at Elon Musk claiming, and all of these economists claim and stuff, uh, you know, talking about the falling birth rate. And one of the main arguments that he brought up is this tired old cliche, which is one of the most bright green of the bright green lies. I talked about this a, briefly a couple of days ago on Collapse Chronicles, um, but but I just want to develop it a, 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 a little bit more. I mean, I mean, there are so many goddamn contenders for the most bright green of the bright green lies. 
but certainly one of the top three, and in many ways, the number one lie uh, is, is about the declining birth rate and in all of this, how, how the global population, that overpopulation is, is, is now officially a myth because the birth rate is uh, is falling on the planet as it has been doing for about the past 50 years. You know, as the the birth rate has been falling, as the population has more than doubled. This is the first thing that people need to understand that you can still have more than a doubling of population during a falling birth rate, uh, you, you know, up to a certain point. Uh, but, but that's not even the lie. It, 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 it even goes deeper than that horse shit. And what he was saying in this article, so he was looking at this newest revision of these population you know, every about uh, every six weeks, uh, whoever the bean counters at the UN, you know, revising, trying to second guess how the population, the global population, is is going to develop over the 21st century. They're now saying that the global population is going to peak in the year 2064. That we are going to keep rising and rising and rising despite the the declining birth rate mainly because of the birth rates in sub-saharan africa and india it will be the leading uh can, you know the leading the charge of that the total population of this planet will continue to climb to the year 2064 now it did not say in the article what they're claiming it where it's going to peak you think they might have put that in there but assumedly it's somewhere somewhere between 10 and 12 billion people if, if, if you suspend all the, what is it suspension of disbelief uh and and, and just set aside for the moment you, you know things like uh nuclear war other resource wars, uh, abrupt climate change, all the rest of the things, you know, a real global pandemic, all of those other things, just, just for the sake of argument, you completely set aside all of the things that could radically overhaul these unadulterated horseshit uh population projections uh and, and and assume for one minute put your head firmly back up your ass and and and, and just go with it go with uh elon musk and these other clueless fucking morons that the population is going to continue to increase for a, another 43 years, we're going to add 2 to 4 billion more people uh, on, on, onto this planet. And so what it was saying now, and, and kind of what I mentioned in this article, so I, I guess the, the bean counters are saying it's going to peak in 2064, and by the year 2100, the human population is going to fall, is going to fall to 8.8 .8 billion people, which is about, call it almost a billion more people than we have now that in the year 2100, we are going to be down to one billion more people than we have on the planet now. And then that number is going to continue to fall. And maybe in a hundred years from now, somewhere around a hundred years from now, uh, we are going to be back to where we are now. And uh, so they are claiming 
and you, and you see this unadulterated fucking horse shit over and over and over and over again in the mainstream media. And there, there, there's a, there's several, just, I, I, I'm barely scratching the surface here. Uh, okay, if I was debating one of these clueless fucking morons, uh, of course what they never point out uh, is that there's already the, the population of this planet where it is today is already unsustainable and overpopulated by about a factor of, of anywhere, uh, you, you know, throw your dart. Uh, I would say by a factor of 16. If you're, a, if you're a fan of the Georgia Guidestones, we should have a global population of 500 million instead of 8 billion. That were 16 times and that right now, what was I reading last night, uh, that uh, I, I think they're saying 4.4 planets, uh, you know, as Earth overshoot day uh, gets earlier and earlier in the year to sustain the global population at today's standard of living, we are already in full-scale overshoot. Nowhere are you going to see, you're, you're, not only are you not going to see the word overpopulation, you're not, you sure as shit, never going to see the word overshoot in anywhere in the mainstream media. Uh, nowhere. Uh, I challenge you to find the word overshoot in the, in the mainstream media. So they completely fail to point out that we are already in overshoot at 8 billion at today's standard of living and to suggest that we can because 100 years from now we are going to be back down to where we are now, that means that overpopulation and certainly implied in that, that overshoot is a myth. Uh, that, that, the, that the planet is just going to go right on taking the hit. Year after year as we continue for the next 42 years to uh, pack more and more and more humans on this planet before we start turning around and going back down and um, I mean to extrapolate it where it would be down to 500 million my guess uh, I, I'm just throwing a dart maybe by the year uh, 2300 or, or, or whatever so just uh, uh, never factored in to the situation that we cannot uh, sustain the population at uh, that we have now at the economic level that people are living. That it's already we're we're going down the fucking toilet. Just completely ignored. Uh, and, and going hand in hand with that, as I keep making the, the little asterisk at today's standard of living, well, when you look at the track record, uh, I was just uh, talking about, um, uh, uh, it was either today or yesterday, maybe I think it was Bill Reese talking about as the population has doubled the level of consumption of the planet's resources has more than quadrupled that it's not that that the the population uptick and the stress on the planet uptick are not in line with each other that global gdp meaning the the per capita consumption 
of everybody on the planet is rising at twice the rate, or I would say more than twice the rate, as the actual number of people themselves. So if you're looking, you know, at like a 1970 uh, level of global GDP to act like we've doubled, no, we have more than quadrupled the hit on the planet. This is completely beyond the comprehension of these clueless fucking morons, like at the Telegraph or, or anywhere else. I mean, Elon Musk is incapable of, uh, of, of figuring this out, that uh, it, it is po population times consumption, and it, 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 if the rate of consumption is growing at twice the rate of, you know, per capita consumption is, is growing at more than twice the rate of the actual number of people, uh, the actual number of consumers, the, the math is completely bullshit. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you, you know, all <clears throat> indicators are is that global per capita consumption is only going to continue on its meteoric rise. So even, let's say, even if we were to peak in 19, uh, uh, you know, again, suspending all disbelief, keeping your head lodged up in, in your asshole and, and, and saying, okay, and, and believing this crap, even if the population, the number of consumers did in fact peak in 2064, if the global per capita consumption of resources continued its upward tick, it would erase all of the gains made by the population, even even after the population, quote, peaks and starting to fall, this does not mean the hit to the planet is going to fall accordingly. It's going to keep on rising. Nobody, uh, nobody is able to see this. Uh, nobody is able to see this because they have no desire to see this. And then, of course, uh, th there's just this absolute fucking... Uh, the, the whole subject is, is absurd. You know, anybody claiming that this population is going to go right on, uh, right on about growing, that the population is going to continue to to keep growing till 2064. There's going to be 8.8 .8 billion people at the end of this century. Uh, just pull your fucking head out of your ass. Uh, it, it, it's it's just. <laughs> You know, they, at the very time uh, we need to be screaming from, from the fucking rooftops to get out there and get yourself sterilized, we have the single biggest bright green lie on the fucking planet that overpopulation is a myth. And you're going to see this uh, meme growing and growing and growing that the very notion of uh, talking about overpopulation uh, it, uh, over the next few years it, it is going to be viciously attacked more than it's ever been. It, it's just been ignored all right since uh, for the since about the middle of the 1970s, They've just ignored the issue, but what you're beginning to see, and you're going to see a lot more of, is more and more attacks uh, in the mainstream media against anybody claiming there's too many people uh, on this planet. Uh, they, you're, you're going to see more and more articles like this bullshit in the Telegraph. For every article 
uh, like the one I read in resilience.org today from, uh, what was that, Rex Weiler. Uh, for every one of those articles, there are going to be 100 articles in the mainstream media drilling it into clueless fucking morons' heads that we need more people uh, on this planet, not less. You know, right there in the mainstream media today, I didn't even look at it, that now China, China is starting to crack down on vasectomies. You know, the same country that encouraged them a few years ago in their bullshit one-child policy, which has been thrown out the window, they are now cracking down on uh, the ability for men to get vasectomies. It's going to get tougher and tougher, and, it, and it's not just going to be China. Uh, more and more countries are going to start making it harder uh, for people to choose sterilization. We, we are completely fucked. The, the number one issue on this planet, which is too fucking many people, you know, in hand, eating too much stuff per capita, uh, the single uh, number one crisis facing this planet uh, as we move deeper into the end times, uh, it is going, look at, can you see that big old hoot owl? Oh, that's the great horned owl. That's not the barred owl. I don't know if you can see that big boy up there in that top of that cypress tree. That's the great horned owl. Uh, he's here listening to my rant. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that big boy. I've been hearing him. So anyway, I uh, just expect to see more and more and more of this unadulterated horseshit. Uh, it, it will be. I can start making my uh, my no shit Sherlock uh, 2022 predictions. And I'm certainly going to put on that list, you're going to see more and more of the mainstream media making fun of the myth of overpopulation. Guaranteed. This is a no-brainer. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this and, uh, and hang out with the great horned owl. As sun sets over the end times, and another night in the Point Lonesome Swamp begins. Bye, guys.